Mao de Roo is based on a true story of two young girls who went missing in Belgium in the mid 1990s. Here's my review. The Dutrol affair was a criminal case in Belgium in the 1996. It involved the surveillance of a man called Marc Dutrol, who was the main suspect in the disappearance of several women, young women or young girls going missing in the mid 1990s in Belgium. Mark was convicted, convicted of kidnapping and raping uh, a few young girls in the mid to late 1980s, but he was only sentenced to three years in prison before he was let out on parole. This new film, Maldoro, is based on this criminal case, but just mainly focuses on disappearance of just two young girls. We meet Paul, played by Anthony Bajong, who is a rookie cop and asks to be put on this uh, case of the disappearing girls uh, that uh, is causing, this story is causing a, a major media frenzy in Belgium at the time. Paul's job is to track and surveillance Marc Dutrol and hopefully he will lead them to um, the um, the whereabouts of the two young girls. Paul grew up in a brothel without any parents. His father is in prison and he was raised by an adopted mother, a prostitute, played by Beatrice Dow. Paul is engaged to Gina, played by Alba Gaya Belugi, and they are expecting our baby and they just bought a new house. But this a new criminal case will be will become an obsession for Paul. He will neglect his uh, new family and he will do whatever it takes to find these two missing girls. He will bend, bend any rules he has to and do anything he can to find these two missing girls. <laughs> Maldoro is directed by Fabrice Duwells, who has directed films such as Calvary, Message from the Kin with Chadwick Boseman and Aluya. I have only seen one of his, one of his films from uh, 2021 in Oxubu and I, I recommend checking that film out. It's a nice, uh, short, uh, neat little thriller. His new film, Maduro, is an entertaining uh, police procedural thriller but, thriller, but it is very reminiscent of um, films we've seen before. It's that the uh, police officer who's who's obsessed with the case, and and the police officer who neglects his family and his wife, and 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 yeah, it's the same thing we've seen uh, many times before. I am not sure if this p poor police officer is based on a real person or if um, it's just a fictional character. I didn't really understand uh, Paul's obsession with the case. The film doesn't do a very good job of uh, explaining to us or showing us why uh, Paul is so uh, obsessed with solving his case. The film has a lot to say about the deficiencies that the police system in Belgium had in the mid-1990s. Uh, I would have liked to have seen the film focus more on the Marc Dutrol character, the guy who was kidnapping the girls, and his connections that he had with uh, very powerful people in Belgium at the time. The film becomes quite unpleasant in the second half of the film, like uh, an animal abuse, a uh, child exploitation. I just think the way it was filmed, I just felt a little bit seedy and exploit. Uh, just, uh, I didn't like the way, very unpleasant. I give Maldoro three stars out of five. I know I, I might sound quite negative about the film, but I was entertained uh, uh, throughout the whole movie, even though it's two and a half hours long, and I, I was uh, entertained throughout, even though it's nothing we haven't seen before. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you next time. Bye.